Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen and today we got a fascinating coding challenge in store. Uh, we are diving deep into the realm of string and number and trust me, uh, it's a fun one. So if you're ready, uh, let's dive in. All right, so here is the deal. We have encountered a string where letter uh, gets written onto a tape. But if we encounter a digit, the entire term so far gets repeated that many times minus one. And the goal is find the key letter in the decoded string. So sounds intriguing. So let's break this down with a quick example. So let's consider lit lit two uh, code. Yeah, so it's code, code three. Uh, so, uh, and yeah, our key will be so our decoded string will be lit, then lit, because we have two here, and then we have code, and then we repeat this part three times. So it becomes so it will be the yeah, first part, then second will be exactly the same. So lit lit uh code yeah so it's for two second part and also third exactly uh, the same so you understand uh, the logic and yeah we are asked about key equals 10 so uh 10 character so in our case it's uh character o so it's our uh, output so i hope you understand uh, the example better now so Naive approach would be to fully decode the string and then simply pick the key character. But we are not here for an uh, easy way. Also, it might be a uh, yeah, time uh, limit exception for uh, this particular naive approach. So we need to think about something more efficient. And we will start by calculating the length of the decoded string without actually decoding it. And we will iterate through the input string. And for each character, if it's a letter, we increase our length by one. And if it's a digit, we multiply our current length by that uh, digit. So uh, let's write it down. So len zero and i zero and while len less than key. If s, uh, yeah, s is digit length times int s, and else length plus one, and i will be uh, plus one. So great. Now that we have the total length, uh, here is the fun part. We are going to work our way backwards. Why? Because it's much easier to peel the back, the layer of the string, than to build it up. Uh, so uh, if we encounter uh, a digit, we will divide our total length by that uh, digit. So for j in range i minus 1, reverse and character will be as j and if character is digit length divided character and now yeah, key modulo length and else will be if key equal zero or key length uh, return character and length minus one. So, uh, if we encounter a digit, what we do, we divide our total length by that particular digit and essentially reversing the previous multiplication. And we will also take the modulo of key uh, with the current length. Uh, and if we bump into a letter and key is either zero or uh, equal to the current length, that's 
our uh, answer. Uh, so now let's run it for uh, this test case mentioned previously. So uh, yeah, lead to code and output is all, all good. So now let's uh, submit it for unseen test cases as well. So yes, uh, yeah, as you can see, our implementation uh, yeah, fit 100% uh, with respect to runtime and also uh, 9848 uh, with respect to uh, memory. So uh, it's quite uh, efficient. And yeah, so today we uh, didn't solve a puzzle problem. We unravel a puzzle uh, together. So we learn the importance of working backward and optimizing our solution to avoid uh, unnecessary uh, computation. Uh, but wait, uh, there is more. So for those of you who love exploring different languages or uh, feel more comfortable in uh, different languages than Python, uh, I will provide you with implementation in uh, Go, Rust, uh, C++, and much more in the description below. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it for today's episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this session, don't forget to hit the uh, like button, it really help, and subscribe for more uh, coding adventure, uh, tutorial, machine learning, and tech, and much more. And if you have any uh, questions, suggestions uh, for next episode, uh, yeah, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And always remember, coding is not just about finding the solution, it's about the journey and the lesson we learn uh, along the way. So keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.